assalamu alaikum after a long time i was not able to upload videos on my channel but from now i have decided to be active on my channel i uh, belong to a pharma world and i have been experienced with me that i am a bit lazy in winning pharmacopias and i am sure there are many of us like me who don't like reading usp bp jp so i have decided to share my knowledge as far as i managed to learn from different pharmacopias but i will tell you as per usp criteria mostly that i started with the easiest topic which is disintegration test if you guys like it don't forget to give me your feedback in this video i will tell you about the apparatus parameter and acceptance criteria and in my second video i will share some questions which are frequently asked could help you in your interviews regarding this topic let's start with the apparatus if you see this picture it consists of a basket rack assembly and a 1 liter beaker and a thermostat arrangement for heating the fluid and a mechanical device for raising and lowering the basket in the emergent fluid at a constant frequency rate it has two strokes one is upward stroke and the second is lower stroke frequency rate of this stroke is 29 to 32 cycles per minute the basket rack assembly is rigid and supports six cylindrical glass tube if you see this picture all dimensions are given here so um the length of the test tube uh, your glass tube is 77.5 mm long and the diameter is 21.5 mm and the wire mesh size of dt apparatus is 2 mm now what is disintegration basically disintegration measures the ability of a tablet to break down into smaller particles or granules and disintegration test is used to show how quickly the tablets break down into smaller particles here are some parameters the main parameter is temperature is temperature the bar temperature should be 37 degree centigrade but usp gives the tolerance limit of 2% so if we plus minus 37 Uh, plus minus two in thirty seven degree, the range we get between thirty five to thirty nine degree centigrade. I have told you earlier the frequency rate, which is twenty nine to thirty two cycles per minute, and the fluid level. Fluid level is critical to understand. So fluid level in the vessel is such that that at the highest part or or the highest portion of upward stroke the wire mesh remains at least 15 mm below the surface and when it descends is downward stroke it should not less than 25 mm from the bottom of the vessel now let's move towards acceptance criteria acceptance criteria is very easy all tablets should be disintegrate completely but if one or two tablets fail to disintegrate repeat 12 tab tablets so previously we had six tablets and 12 additional total 18 tablets we have now so 16 tablets out of 18 tablets should be disintegrated completely that's all for this video in my next video i will discuss some questions related to this topic and some reasons we should know it can help students for interviews also if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and thanks for watching